Hi friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So at the time this video is going live, it's Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to you all. And I hope wherever you are that you're staying safe. So you're looking into creating a Discord bot for your server, but you don't want to pay money and you kind of want to build it yourself. So what can you do? Well then, you can actually create a Discord bot and host it on your Raspberry Pi and you can code it with Python. So this is what this video is about. I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make a Discord bot in Python and host it on your Raspberry Pi all for free, completely for free. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually get our Raspberry Pi up and running and ready to host our Discord bot on it. So the first thing you're actually going to need is a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to assume you have one. If you don't, you can get them at Amazon for like less than £20. So let's jump straight into the Raspberry Pi and I can show you how to do it. So if your Raspberry Pi is on the latest version and you've got the latest version of Python, then I'm going to leave a timestamp in the middle of the screen here where you could jump to where we actually started to set up the Discord bot. However, I'm going to quickly now run over if you haven't got your Raspberry Pi on the latest version and you haven't got the latest version of Python, then I'm going to quickly run over it now on how you can set this up. So to upgrade your Raspberry Pi to the latest version, you need to open up a terminal and then run this command. So, if you run this command, this command will update all of your systems packages to the latest version. This will take a bit of a time, but once it's done, it will all be on the latest. But then after you've updated it, you want to do another command. So you now want to run this command, sudo apt full dash upgrade, as this will update everything. It will make sure that everything is on the latest, latest version possible. So yeah, you want to run that, and then once you've done those two commands, your Raspberry Pi will be on the latest version, and yeah. So now you've updated your Raspberry Pi's operating system to the latest version. We now want to get it ready to run the latest version of Python if you haven't got that installed already. So before we start upgrading Python to the latest version, you need to run three commands. I'm going to be leaving these commands in the description, but essentially these are what the commands are. So this is the first command that you want to run, and you want to make sure that it's on the latest version. The next command you want to run is this command. And then you want to make sure that it's also on the latest version. And then the final command you need to run before we install Python is this. And then you want to run this command and again make sure that it is on the latest version. Okay, so you've now got all of your packages on the latest version. So we now need to install Python if you haven't already. And if you have got Python installed, we need to make sure that it is on the latest version. Okay, so first we need to check what Python version you're on. So to do this, type Python 3 dash dash version and it will tell you the version that you are on. So as you can see here, I'm on the latest 3.9.1. I'd recommend when setting up this Discord bot that you do have Python on the latest version. However, I believe anything above uh, Python 3.5 should work. So now let me quickly show you how you can install the latest version of Python. So you need to open up your browser and head to the Python website. You then need to head to the download section and then you want to click on the Linux slash Unix option. Wait for it to load. And now we want to scroll down and look for the 3.9.1 version. And you can see here that we've got a gzipped source uh, tarball. You want to right click and click copy link address. Then just to confirm that it is copied correctly, I always like to open a new tab and then just paste it in here to make sure it's all correct. And yes, as you can see here, it is pasted in lovely. So you now need to reopen up the terminal. OK, so then heading back to your terminal, you want to run these commands. I'm not going to run them myself because if I do, then it would potentially error out and cause something to break, which I don't want that to happen because I've got things running on here. But anyway, I'm going to leave these um, commands in the description so you can just go ahead and copy and paste them and then run them in your terminal. I would only, only recommend upgrading to the latest version of Python if you literally don't even have Python 3 installed. And if you've got Python 3.5, I wouldn't even bother because this process is just extremely painful and it most likely will cause errors as it did for me when I started upgrading. And you have to do loads of research to try and figure out what the problem is. So yeah, I'd recommend don't upgrading unless you really have to if you don't have any Python 3 installed. OK, so you've now got your Raspberry Pi on the latest version of the OS and you've got the latest version of Python or a Python version above like 3.5. OK, so we can now actually start getting ready to install our Discord bot, the server required to run our Discord bot. OK, so we can now start installing the packages required to run this Discord bot on our Raspberry Pi. So we're going to need to open up the terminal again. 
Okay, so you now want to go ahead and run these commands in your terminal. And these will install all the required packages if you haven't got them installed already, like Python 3 pip. They will install them all and get it ready for us to run our Discord bot. So you want to go ahead and run these in the terminal. I'll leave these in the description like all the other ones. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste. Okay, so you've now installed all of the packages required to run our Discord bot. So it's now just the process of just coding it, just uh, getting it to run. Okay, so you now want to create a directory for the Discord bot. I would recommend creating it in your home directory. And then just do this, do mkdir, then the um, weird squiggly symbol, I don't know the name for it, forward slash, and then the name of what you want to call it, and then hit enter. There we go, the folder is now created. So now let's cd into that folder. Okay, so we're now inside of the folder, and now we can actually start making the actual code for it to run. So we want to create a file, so just type touch, and then uh, bot.py, and then click enter. So we've now created a, we've now created a bot file, as you can see here. Okay, so we now want to edit this file. So let's open it in the Python editor that's built into Raspbian. So I can move to the side, and then go to programming, and Python 3. We can then go ahead and open it. And there we go. We've now opened up this bot file in Python. So we can now start coding it. So I'm not really going to go into detail in this video on how to code it. If you'd like me to do a separate video where I go and explain all of like the code behind why and what it does when you write this sort of code, then let me know in the comments and I'll do that. But now I'm just going to show you how to set up a very basic uh, bot that will allow you just to interact with it. So we just want to import the packages first. So we now actually need to specify the token for our bot to connect to the server. So I haven't actually shown you yet how to do this. Okay, so I'll come back in a minute and I'll show you how you can set up your bot on Discord. So when you set it up, it will give you a token and you'll enter it here. I'll show you that in a second. And then you can link that bot to your server. Okay, so I've quickly just jumped ahead and wrote this in, and I'll leave a link in the description for where you can find this code, but let me just quickly go over it. So as I just spoke about the token, I will go to that in a second. This is just a description of the box. The command prefix I've, is currently set to a question mark, but you could change it to whatever you like. So for example, like an exclamation mark. Essentially what the command prefix is, is that when you're like in Discord and you're on like a text channel, and you type, let's say that, and then like a command like hello world, and that will, uh, when you type that in Discord, it will run this command here because it's essentially saying prefix, which is this one here. It's essentially saying, ah, okay, so this is this bot here, which means it knows it's this code, and I want it to run hello world. So it looks through the code and realizes, ah, there's a function here called hello world, so I'm going to run what it says to do in here. Essentially, that's how it works. Okay, and then so this is just when you load up the bot, it will just make sure it's all connected, ready to Discord. So you don't even need to worry about this. And so this is the commands. This is the section that is what we focus on the most. So we just need to specify that it's a command first. Then we need it to um, tell it that it's going to be a function called hello world. And we need to make sure that CTX is being imported into the function. And essentially what CTX allows you to communicate with the Discord server. And then ctx.send is how you send like messages back. And like, for example, here we're doing ctx.send hello world. So when we type uh, uh, for exclamation mark hello world and then we run this, this will essentially uh, print out hello world. That is the basis on how it works. And I'll go into more details in another video on more complicated things we could do with this. For example, we could get to call like an API to like find out the weather. But yeah, let me know in the description if you want to do this. Okay, so we now need to um, get the token for our bot. So let me show you how you can do this. Okay, so you want to go ahead and open up a browser. It doesn't have to be on your Raspberry Pi, it could be on your computer. You then want to head to a Discord developer portal and then you want to sign in with your Discord account. Okay, so once you've logged in, you want to go ahead and click New Application. And then you want to enter the name of the application that you basically want to call your bot. It doesn't have to be your bot name, we're going to name that in a second. So just give it a name, for example, I don't know, let's say you want to name your bot like Dave, Dave Bot Server, and around those lines, you see what I mean and then click create. Okay, and then once you've loaded into it, you can see here that you've got a name that you just created, a description, and you can see here that you've got like a public key, a client ID, a secret, but on the left-hand side here, you can see that there's something called bot. You want to go ahead and click on that. You then want to go ahead and click create new bot. Currently, that's not on my screen because I'm already in a separate application, but there'll be a thing here that says create a bot. You want to go ahead and click that, and then you want to give your bot a name. This is the name that your bot will be. 
Okay, so, you, so you've now named your bot. So we now want to get the token. So for remember we're in that file. You can see here that there's a token section. You want to clear, go ahead and click copy. Before we head back to Raspbian, we want to do one other thing. If we head to the OAuth 2 section on the left hand side here, and then you want to come down to the scope section and click bot. And then you want to scroll down and click administrator. And now you want to copy this link here and you want to paste it into your browser make sure that you're signed to discord when you do this and when you do this and you click enter it's going to pop up and say would you like to add your bot to a server and when you choose the server that you wanted to add it to and when you click done and then this will now add your bot to that server so now let's head back to the raspbian pi so we're now back inside Raspbian and you can see here on the code section we've left our token bit blank. You want to paste in that token that you just copied from your browser and then you want to save the document. And now we have done it. We have set up our bot. So now you want to head over to the terminal and we want to run it. So what you want to type is Python 3 and then bot.py and then click enter. So look, you can see here that when we run that, our bot is now logged into the server. This is actually just blurred for me, mainly because it gives away um, details, apologies about that. But you're going to see that it says logged in as the name of your bot and then your user ID. And then, yeah, so now your bot is running. So if we head over to Discord now, to the server that you installed your bot to. So look, now if we look to the side, we can see that our bot is now in the server. I actually named mine Crazy Bot. I don't know why, I just thought it would look cool. So yeah, that is now in the server. So if you head down to the text section and you type in the prefix, so in my our case it was a question mark, and then you want to type in the name of your command. So in the example, if you were following, it was hello world. However, I uh, the, the bot that I've made on here that's running isn't that, it's just hello. And if we click enter, you can see that our bot replies with a thing. And in my case, I've just said it to play this, it was just something I was messing around with. But if you were following the example, then it should say hello world. And if so, then well done, you've successfully set up a Discord bot on on your server so now if it gives out a response and you can see that your bot has replied well done congratulations you've we've just set up a discord bot on your server if you've got any questions of it any of it didn't work let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to help answer you i'm actually going to be doing another video where i go into more detail about the programming behind it so if you're interested about that hit the subscribe button and if you like this video please hit the like button but that brings us to the end of this video. If you've got any questions, if any of it errored out, if any of it just didn't work, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. But if you found this video at all useful, please leave a like on it. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!